Oh, this is Mini Goku Reviews. Okay, we're not doing that. Hey, this is Mini Goku Reviews. What is Mini Goku Reviews? Why is Mini Goku Reviews? Basically, this is the show I'm doing because I don't have all the time in the world. Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I don't have shit to do. It sucks, I know. I wish I could die, but I can't. What is a Mini Goken review? It's like the usual reviews, but not necessarily shorter, but rather less time spent in the making. Also, I'm a bean. I have a lot of footage just laying around taking up disk space. It's probably a good idea to do something with it. Anyway, this is the Arctec Lucia Dawn. I got this mostly because I was interested in the Arctec line, and she cute. Arctec is a line by Apex that mostly just make characters from Chinese phone games for weebs. Although apparently they want to make a Rem figure, how fucking surprising. This character is from Punishing Grey Raven, which is a Chinese phone game for weebs that I know... pretty much nothing about. It's like Honkai Impact, but... I, I don't know, I played that game like five years ago and it's still only in Chinese. I'm mostly interested in how this looks. This design is, what if Miku would step on my dick? Also known as regular Miku, so I guess not that. It's like Demon Samurai Cyber Miku or something. This is the version of Lucia Dawn with the most knickknacks. I assume it's like Servant Evolutions and Fgo. I assume because I don't know how that works either. My friend described this line as articulated scale figures, which is fairly probably accurate. Just look at the paint on her dress. And instead of being Figma size, this is scaled like a scale figure. It's not even one six, it's one eighth. Which is a little bit annoying, but I guess it's fine. Something I do take issue with is, when characters have longer proportions, if in your adaptation you don't apply that to all the relevant features, the proportions just won't really work. Regular anime face, thin, long ass body. It's not really a problem here because I think this is just how she looks in the game. And she's not that lanky Kong to begin with, so why am I even complaining about this? Well, I'm not getting the Figma Ichi just for one complaint, so I'm doing it here. And you can't complain back at me because you could have just left. Actually, the first Arctech figure had some proportion issues, in that they were wrong. Maybe you like this better, but it's noticeably incorrect. Probably not the case here. An actual complaint I have is how this is cut to make room for articulation, particularly the chest. This gap is so big and the connected part is pretty rounded out that any angle that's not directly in front is fucking weird. I get it for the articulation, but also that looks kind of fucking terrible, so what's even the point? Otherwise, the articulation is pretty good. You get- I'm sick of your shit, I'm fucking tired of your shit, and a yelling face that's... kinda bland. They don't even use it at all in the promotional images. You get... Hands. Yes, she comes with thighs, and you know what, so do I. This is indeed rather hot, but it needs to be acknowledged that this is also very hot. I'd fuck a robot. You can attach them to her arms because, sure, why not? Apparently, this comes with a code to unlock one of these swords in-game, but only the Chinese one, so that's great. You get these, I don't know what they are, and because they float, you have to attach them to the... <sighs> ...stand. Which doesn't slot in her ass or something because there's no hole. Oh, so having the stand serve as storage is a good idea. What's not a good idea is making that stand clear. Just make it fucking black or something. Otherwise, she's standing over a pile of her disembodied faces and thighs. Big, weird, very sizably weird. Guts, Mozinger, Ludens. Overall, I guess I can recommend it if you like how it looks and don't mind the price. Otherwise, uh, no. That's about it, thank you to the patrons. Do I need to insult this guy in a mini review? I'll do it a little. Fucking dumbass. Of course, thank you for all our reviews for their recording contributions, and I'll see y'all next time.